Hi ladies, hi gents, I'm back with another part, sorry about that, it was actually one of my friends from work, she phoned to sing happy birthday, <laughs> happy birthday to me on the phone, <laughs> she's so sweet, love her loads, hi Debbie, <laughs> when I told her I was video and she was like, oh I'm so sorry, I was like, it's fine, it's fine, okay, so this is now all nice and dry, and um, what I want to do before I set it to one side first of all the sprays are dry as well so I just quickly put them down and have a think about where I might want to put them like there but I was thinking I might do I've got one of these uh, chipboard pieces I might use one of these on it as well one of the hearts is quite cute and this is still in the packaging because I haven't used any of it and I think I bought it from them direct in uh, Poland I think it was um, I'm pretty sure I did and they're just the little chipboard pieces but I like this one with the hearts I wonder, let me just take it out says there we go put that onto the side okay I'm thinking it might look nice under here I think I might do that as well so what I'll do is Got the plastic off this and just give this a quick that way. I think that way. Quick coat of gesso and for this I just use um, a makeup sponge. And I've got the lid of my gesso pot here where I dab my um, brush on the lid of the gesso pot on the inside of the lid. So I'm just gonna. Give that a little coat of the gesso. Quickly. Like that. Um, I'm not doing that on the canvas. The canvas is underneath just in case you're wondering. <laughs> might add pink to that one, so I might take some of the pink and pop it on there. Oh yeah. some of these, put a bit of colour onto some of these beads. I see, it, it's so hard for me to plan a tutorial because I do different things as I go, <laughs> go along. So I'm just adding some of the, the pink to some of the acrylic beads. I might do those ones blue. I'll do one at the top, pink. Dark blue for that. And these makeup sponges I just buy in the pound shop. They're really, you get a big bag of them. That's my phone again. <laughs> but it's not ringing, it's just a message. So I'm just going to put some of the darker blue on that leaf. And some on that bead. Maybe 
of that flower. see and it starts to tone all the colours in. That will lighten as it dries. If it's too dark then I'll just add a little bit of white over the top. <coughs> and the leaves, I'm going to add some of the lighter blue to the to the swirly bits. I might just dab a little bit on the leaves, a little bit of the lighter blue and then I might just touch the centre of them with the darker. I very much make it up as I go along. I really do. Okay. And that's my phone again. I am sorry. So that's that. Hmm. I might dull that with the pink a little bit. Yeah, that's better than that one. That's better. So it's just toned it down a little bit. So they should be almost dry. Move that to the side. Okay, right, glue gun is on. I just went and pulled my glue sticks out. I've got four left. I need to order some glue sticks. Okay. Right. Oh, I want to, for this piece, I'm just going to pop some glue onto the back. Um, can you see that? And I'm using tacky glue. Oh, my hands aren't working today. Right. And I just use a, a, a little brush for this. So it's, that's a tacky glue. And I'm just going to brush that onto the back of this to start it um, ready to stick down. Over. And I know I want this here. I just see if Doing it. I'm going to apply some tacky glue just to the um, the branch of this. The leaves I stick down later once I decide where I want which way I want the leaves to um, face uh, and where I want to position them. So I just stick down the the branch bit. So it allows me to 
move the leaves once I start putting the flowers on. place for a minute. And at the same time I'll do the back on. Again the same, just the branch of that other one so that I can get it in position but still move the the leaves and got a hold and this one This is a boring bit. I should just chat away to you while I'm doing this, but I just want that to take hold. You see, what, what I then do is sort of lift the leaves up a bit until I decide where they're going to go. <coughs> I will show you in a sec. I just want to make sure that's... Turn it around this way. You can see. Okay, so I had these as well. And what I thought. Oh, a couple, so. Okay, I'm going to just move that to the side a moment. So I won't, I'm going to snip it in half. I'm just going to snip it in. In there. So I've got one with two and one with three, but what I thought would be really cute would be to add some staming, staming into it. Let's bring my, untangle my glue gun from my heat gun here. Heat gun over. Right. Fabric strands stuck on it. So these are little stamen and they're like a dusky pink. Just pull a bundle out. Um, these are matte stamen, you know, they've got a matte finish rather than shiny. What I thought would be really cute is if I just take a few. half like that and twist them. I just want to, then what I want to do is pop them in there so and see how much, how far down they'll go. Just going to pop a little bit of glue on that for a minute. Look. 
I'm going to do that on all of them. I hope you don't mind watching as I do it, but I could stop, do them and come back, but I know you specifically asked for the tutorial, so I kind of feel like I have to show you everything that I do. Just putting a tiny bit of glue on there just to hold them together. I know these are minute, so you probably can't even see them in my hands, but Pop a bit of glue on the end, and then pop it in there. Just adds another dimension to these. how they look now which I think they look really cute now so they look cute before but sometimes you know you just well I just like to add a bit more okay so I put those onto the canvas so the longer one I think I want that to go up that way so with these, just because they're um, just wired ones, I probably will just use the hot glue. <coughs> and then this one, I think I want it going off that way. Again, I'll just pop the glue on just the wire bit for now until I decide um, which way I want the flowers positioned. So I like to leave the option open to move them.
so I'll just show you that. So they're all just in position now, ready to move them around as and when. I'm hoping my battery is okay, it's not flashing yet, so. Right, flowers. I just grabbed a load of flowers. So there's going to definitely be a pink rose. This is a trellis rose in the 40ml. There's definitely going to be a couple of these, I think, in there. And what I do is, uh, all the flowers are from Wild Orchid Crafts. I cut the stem down and I also remove the leaves. Because there's so many colours of the green leaves. Um, it, it reduces the need to um, gesso them or paint them at all. So definitely. Um, I think that one there, like that. And some of the blue. Darker. This one is is a wild rose. Sorry for the scrunching. Um, I think yeah, it's one of these. lighter ones as well. And this is how I just lay sit them down first before I attach them to see if where and if. So if I do that slightly then I think the lighter one there so I've got the bigger cluster at the bottom. Then that one. I want another one there. What, what do I want? Maybe a smaller white one. Move those to the side. Which is a smaller trellis rose. This size is 40 mil. This white one is 35 mil. how it looks so far. Then I want a few smaller flowers. And I'm thinking I want some of the lilies. A couple of lilies would go nice with those. So one there. go there. One, two, three. Right 
Mm. I'm thinking I might have. And that I think would be too much. Okay, I'm going to go with that for now. Okay, so if I try and lift that, so what I've done is I've literally just sat them on where I think they should go. So what I do then is I take them off roughly in the combination that I'm doing and lift that, move that because this one I know is going here. Okay, so I get my glue and my tripod legs in the way. And then I start adding them. this one the wires down as I go. And sometimes I go back and change my mind. I'm just adding a bit more glue there, that's not that's better. This one is going to peep out this side so I can cut some cut some of that off. And I know this green stem is going to show, but I can just add a bit of gesso to that to hide that if it shows. So I know I want the P 
pink and blue here. I'm going to put the blue one down first. I want that right on the edge, like that. That one's just peeping out from under there. <coughs> then this pink one. and tucked right in there this light of mm. I might just pop a little bit of glue on that hold that one down Leaf, I'm not quite sure yet. Perfect. A little bit of green stem in there, so I'm just going to give that a rub with gesso just to hide that. from there. Just, I think I need something else there. Hmm. I'm thinking, I know there's a bit of lilac here, so I might add a couple of these apple blossoms in this lilac-y tank. I was checking my camera. That one's got a bit of metal shine on that one. This one. Here, like that, and one at the 
top here. See, once once you start going, you just you just keep adding. You do. <laughs> you can't help yourself. <laughs> right, but I think I'm there. Now all these colours look quite bright, but they're not finished. I do just say them. I do just say them. Let me just look at that. I need to look at it straight on a minute because it needs something else there. And it has to be another um, the light, maybe the light of pink one. Yep. So from the side it looked alright, but when I looked at it straight on, I didn't like that bit. So, I want to add, that's my phone again, sorry. I want to add that in there. I need to cut it shorter, but... straight on. Hmm, I want blue on there. Hang on. Before I pull that down. See, I told you, I, I just chop and change. My mind, <laughs> as I'm crafting. sure I want that one just coming out from there so it's like a and one there see <laughs> white another white Just lift up the leaf there. I'm going to turn it back round. I'm pretty sure I want that one to go in there. My phone, sorry. I will take a break in a moment and check it. blue one just coming out of there. Just 
just look at it straight on. Do I stick all those down? Yeah. Oh yeah, now I'm happy. Could have one colour. Not quite. What kind of blue? Pink, a darker pink. One more, sorry. <laughs> you see, this is why I don't do that many tutorials. Uh, no, not pink. That lilac -y one. Right. Is not flashing at me. Uh -huh. All right. There we go. Right, I'm happy with that. I'm going to stop, otherwise, I'm going to keep adding. Okay, so I'm going to show you those. And they all look nice and bright, but I, my battery's flashing, so I need to stop and recharge. But I'll be back next with what I'm going to do to this, and then any embellishments I'm going to add. So thank you for watching. I'll be back with the next part soon. Bye for now.